Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I figured today I was just gonna sit down and do like a chit chatty, get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I'm looking a hot mess right now, just got out of the shower. Yeah, I just figured I'd turn on my camera, give you guys a life update, what's been going on. You've seen random videos, but I haven't actually like sat down and talked to you guys about what's going on in my life and all of that. So let's do it. Where I live, people, drive down the street on lawnmowers and so that's what that noise was. <laughs> Small town living. Anyway, so I just primed my face. The funny thing about when I do these videos is my skin will be so good for so long and then when I'm like, okay, I think I wanna sit down and do like a makeup video, a get ready with me, showing, you know, no makeup. And my face all of a sudden breaks out. It's like my body is like, we're gonna push these blemishes out there because we know you're about to get in front of the camera without makeup on. Why does it do that? I don't understand. But anyway, hopefully this is also working because I'm, I'm working with a new camera here. Last time I filmed on it, it kind of was blurry. So I'm really hoping it stays focused on me and not on the background. So hoping this works out. So let's jump, let's jump, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to put some Kapari lip gloss on just while I'm getting ready. So yeah, if you guys are new, I am pregnant right now. I'm 25 weeks pregnant. Um, I'm due in August with a little baby girl. If you missed our gender reveal, we shared that. Uh, I don't know if I've came on here and like actually sat down and updated you guys in my life since like before the pandemic last year, I want to say. And so let's like reverse and talk about that while I start my foundation. I'm gonna do the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation. I love this stuff. I just self tanned my body. I'm really hoping that this matches my skin, but let's rewind to that. So, hmm, this might be a little too red tone, but we'll see. Uh, let's rewind to last year. So beginning of the year last year, I decided I was gonna leave my full-time job and pursue content creation full-time. Cause I had a little bit of a buffer of money coming in and we're like, you know, let's do it. Let's give it a shot. I wanted to see what would happen if I could do it. And you know, I didn't love my job that I was in. Um, I loved it to an extent, but there was just a lot of things that I didn't love about it. So I decided to put in my notice and I put in my notice in February. And then the pandemic happened, which is just, you ever feel like what could go wrong would go wrong? <laughs> That's kind of how it felt. I was like, of all things, I wasn't expecting, like I was expecting crazy things to happen probably with me putting my two weeks in, but never ever did I expect a global pandemic to be happening when I put in my notice. So I decided to actually stay with my job for a few more months or kind of just to see how things were going. And I, you know, cause I, we had no idea what was gonna happen. And they cut my hours down to part-time and I ended up just like not having the motivation to do any content creation because I was just so busy with work, even working part-time. So I decided it was time to cut ties, time to just let it go. I've been, this foundation on for far too long. I finally left in, I want to say June. So almost a year ago, just a little under a year ago, I left my job. It was super scary, 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 but I did it. And I was like, you know what? We're going to see what happens. And this is the, this is kind of a little light, but this is the luminous concealer from Giorgio Armani. I've been using this lately instead of my Tarte Shape Tape and I love it. Um, yeah, so I was like, well, let's just see what happens. And yeah, like I said, scary with the pandemic, a lot of brands weren't really working for pay. And so it was just very, very scary, but I did it. So fast forward to <laughs> this year, I am pregnant. We got pregnant last, the end of last year, um, announced in, when did we announce? I waited to announce because we had a lot of complications in the beginning of my pregnancy. Um, I have a subchorionic hematoma, basically where I hemorrhaged 
several times actually. If you're on my, if you follow me on Instagram, my Instagram talks all about it. I did a whole video talking about my hematoma and just basically my story behind it. And like Connor and I sat down. So it's under SCH story, my SCH story or something like that on a highlight. So if you wanna learn more about that, I also have a blog post on it. It was just extremely scary. I was in like a state of depression for a good two months at the beginning of this year. I did zero content creation. I had no motivation to do anything. And I feel like it was, I don't know, it was just the weather too didn't help because it was snowy and gloomy every single day. The sun never came out and you know, sun is just amazing for mood. And so finally um, got past that little hump and baby's doing all good. We did our gender reveal, like I said, um, last month, I wanna say. And it is a baby girl. Connor is so excited. Um, if you saw it, he thought he saw uh, blue smoke and he really wanted a girl and so he was like oh man at first but then he saw it was a girl and he was his face just says it all just you have to go watch it it's the best video but he's very very excited he's been super helpful throughout this pregnancy now that I'm in the second trimester I have been I've had so much more energy and it's been just great so I'm taking full advantage uh, we are also remodeling a an Airbnb since last year. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might know about that as well. Uh, we've been renovating a space. We have two other spaces down in Iowa, uh, but we're renovating another space with my sister and we've been working on that too. So hopefully we'll have that up and running by next month. So we've just had a lot of things going on, plus our home renovations, which we started in quarantine last year because you know we we're stuck at home and we're like, you know what, we've been wanting to do this for so long, let's let's do it. And we did, and Connor's been amazing. He's done so much uh, for the house and just so many projects. We started our series last, a couple weeks ago, depending on when you guys are watching this. Uh, so I have a home renovation series, so I'll have a new video every two weeks until we have like all of the videos up. Um, and then our last video, last couple videos, we're still in the process of doing. So yeah, that's going on with that. And I don't know. So I wanted to at least talk about like what to expect from me and this channel going forward too, because I feel like it's been all over the place. And I've also been trying to like figure out what's best for my audience. I have a pretty small subscriber following on YouTube. So I'm just trying to Right now it, it's kind of open. I can kind of do whatever I want because I'm still so small that I, if I changed completely, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, I started a second channel last year for Connor and me to do like vlogs and stuff. And then, or it was a couple years ago actually. And I decided I'm just gonna do everything on here because I think people don't care that it's like a separate um, channel and so yeah, we're gonna be doing more like vlog style stuff on here. I love the home renovation stuff. I was gonna do that on the other channel, but I decided, you know what? We're gonna do it on this channel and we're gonna see how it goes. It's just gonna be a combination of just a bunch of lifestyle on my channel. So I'm gonna be still doing a fashion, beauty, lifestyle, some mom stuff, some baby stuff and all of that. So hopefully, you guys want to see that if you guys have any like specific videos you want to see let me know it down in the comments i'm open to whatever if you guys want to see anything specific but i swear every time connor's on people love connor so i'm i'm gonna try to get him to be in more vlogs we will see how that goes but um you know he works a nine to five job where he's gone during the day but i still want to try to get him in a little bit more I had to turn the fan on because it is hot. I think it's time for AC to be turned on. It's supposed to be like 80 today. I don't have my Apple Watch on, so I have no idea what the temp is outside right now, but it is sticky and Kobe snoring in the background. But yeah, I feel like I'm just extra sticky. I don't think I've been talking about what products I've been using, but that was the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and then the um, Uomo Beauty, Uoma, excuse me, Beauty 
double take stick. I love this. It's been sold out at Ulta, but if I can find it, I'll link it. I'll have everything linked down below. I'm gonna do Bare Minerals Gen Nude in Call Me Blush. I think I put like over, I can't talk and do makeup because I feel like I overdid the foundation and the powder and everything, but is what it is so yeah as far as what else i want to have on my channel like i just want to do like more a lifestyle stuff with connor and me kind of similar to vlogmas because i really enjoyed doing vlogmas what when we had stuff to do vlogmas was so hard because in the winter in wisconsin there's not a whole lot to do especially when we were in the middle of a pandemic last year so um i think i just overdid the blush now too but yeah, so just like more lifestyle stuff and like not, it'll be spread out, but like maybe combined into a video, like one video so that it's entertaining enough. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. If you want to see that. It's weird to be thinking like, oh, I'm 25 weeks pregnant and I decided I want to vlog more. <laughs> like it is what it is. I'm going to do some leave-in lash conditioner. This is from Grande lash so i'm getting ready to film another video and then i also have just like a dinner thing tonight i'm supposed to be going to like there's a live demonstration for some place in madison that's sharing their um like a recipe so connor and i are going to that so kind of like a little date night i guess if you want to call it that this is weird not doing this like super close up to a mirror. Let's see. I usually don't fill in my eyebrows on a daily basis anymore. But we'll do a little something. I feel like I told you all of my life, like in the first five minutes. But that's pretty much what's been going on. We have just so much going on. We've kind of been looking for a new house just because I feel like this house got super small as soon as we wanted to turn my office into a nursery. I mean, not wanted, I mean, we need to. So this room that I'm in right now was my office slash beauty room. And I switched it when we moved our guest bedroom to our Airbnb in Iowa. We moved like all of our furniture down there uh, to use in our Airbnb. And so we're like, well, why not have it be an office instead? And it's been great, but then when we got pregnant, I'm like, well, now we need a nursery. So that room's gonna be the nursery, and I don't really want, I moved this room around, so I don't really wanna like put an office back in here. There's not really like a spot for it unless I rearrange everything again, and I feel like this is the most practical setup, and this room stays the cleanest with this setup. So which there will be a video on this room eventually um, on my series, but it won't be up while you guys are watching this. It'll be up in like a month and a half from the time this goes live. So I don't know, I have, we planned out the nursery, so we're good to go there. We're really excited. It's gonna be like mauves and neutral tones, little pops of greenery and sage. Uh, I think we're gonna do some wallpaper, which Connor doesn't love the idea of, but I'm excited. We will see, we shall see. I have two baby showers, one in Iowa, cause that's where I grew up and that's where most of my family is. And then one in Madison, that's gonna be a little more bougie because you know me, well, I just, I'm gonna go over the top. And my friend Chloe is hosting it she likes to be bougie just like me so it's perfect so we're gonna do two that's that i kind of want to put on my false scare lashes today but I'm just feeling a little lazy because we're working this weekend in iowa and i don't really care to have lashes on so i'll probably just leave it <sighs> what else do i have to update you guys on I don't know if you follow me on Instagram that's where I share like my daily life everything you need to know I have a lot of highlights saved on there too that go over everything like everything lifestyle beauty fashion maternity bump friendly stuff 
Um, I've been trying since I'm pregnant, trying to get more bump friendly versus maternity. But some things I definitely just need maternity and I realized that they're so much better than trying to fit into a pair of pants with like an extra belly band over it or things like that. So trying to do more bump friendly so that it's good for my entire audience. But it sounds like a lot of my followers on Instagram right now are pregnant. So um, it's been beneficial. Right now I'm working on registry stuff don't even get me started on that. I just, it's so overwhelming. Registry, I just didn't realize how much you needed. Like wedding registry is totally different than a baby registry. Wedding registry is like fun. You get to pick out like random things that you don't necessarily need, but you want. And like some things obviously you need, but for a baby, like I'm picking out everything I need. And then I'm like, well, but I want this too. So do I put that on there or do I just put on the things that I need? It's just a lot but anyway my followers on instagram have been super helpful in helping me pick out like what's needed and what's not so yeah we're um working on that right now so i have a lot of videos planned um coming up for youtube plus i'm also doing amazon live next month if you guys love amazon which if you know me you know i love amazon i'm still gonna be doing some amazon videos i have a spring one coming soon um so my list to do amazon has i have an amazon storefront and they have a live where you can go live and talk about certain products so i'm actually gonna be doing that all of june i'm gonna put the link down in the description bar if you want to follow along hit the follow button and it will notify you when i go live and then you can also watch it after the fact too, but I'm gonna go over tons of different categories. I'm gonna do beauty, fashion, lifestyle, home decor, baby stuff. I can't think of my other list, but so many different things. So you'll definitely want to keep an eye out on that. It's gonna be very similar to this, but it's basically live and you can shop while I'm talking because I'm gonna have all of the items I'm talking about pre-populated. You can click on them right when I talk about them and it's gonna be great. I'm actually really, really excited but I'm also nervous to try this new platform out. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Oh, you know what? Dang it, I didn't use it. I used the Dime Eyelash Boost Serum and I forgot to put it on. I usually put it on in combination with my uh, lash conditioner. So the lash conditioner from Grande Lash and then uh, the Eyelash Boost Serum because these are both pregnancy safe. I'll link this down below. I have a coupon code for it. I think it's Kelsey2220. Uh, for anything on Dime's website, I use their lash serum, some of their skincare, one of their lip products, which I actually might put on today. If I can find it, I think it's in my purse. I brought it with me the other day, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what lip color I end up choosing after I put some mascara on. Um, and then mascara I've been loving is the Hourglass. It's the Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. It's just amazing. It at first, I actually did not like it, and then I tried it again. Someone was like, did you get your lash extensions back? I'm like, no. It must be my mascara. And then I looked, I'm like, holy cow, yeah, you're right. It looks amazing. So, I've been using, ooh, ooh, I did not curl them first. Um, I've been using that nonstop in addition to my Falscara, which are like the DIY at home lash extensions. I have a whole video on the Falscara ones. I need to do an updated one. I was gonna do that with this, but um, I wanted to film this video first. So the next time I do those extensions, that let me show you what they look like. They look like this. Next time I do these, I will give you all my tips and everything on it because the first video was good, but it was like a first impression kind of video. Now I know all the tips and tricks, all the things. Kind of similar to what I did with my Impress nails. I have a video recently that I shared that was more of an updated of my first one, going over all the tips on how to keep them on the longest, which right now I've painted nails that are just nasty, but we were working in the yard this week and then going to work this weekend. So I'm like, I'm not gonna, do anything to these nails that looks that cute. Which hopefully my new camera can just zoom because it's huge and I'm hoping that you can see this. But like, look how long they are. Oh, I should have done that because I just touched it to the top. That's okay. I always get these on my lid, the mascara, because my lashes are so dang long. 
but you just wait, use a little spoolie once it's dry and you're good to go. So I was freezing the entire first trimester of my pregnancy, probably first into the second a little bit. I have low iron, so I've been taking a lot of iron supplements. I'm slightly anemic, but I was so dang cold. I would sit in front of the heater, in front of my uh, computer while working and I would still be freezing. I'd be bundled up in blankets, just could not get warm. Now, I have no problem getting warm because I'm getting bigger and I got more body heat on me. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but yeah, summer's coming too and I'm going to be one hot mama and not in the sexy way. <laughs> I'm going to be sweaty. I'm taking way too long to do my makeup because I'm talking. This is what happens. Lip color. Lip color. I'm going to spray my face first. I'm going to use the Porefessional Super Setter Spray. Oh. I want to use that Dime Beauty one, but I don't really want to get up. So we're going to do Charlotte Tilbury. I got this from the Sephora sale. And normally I would wipe off my, my lip gloss with the makeup on it. I'm just going to wipe with my hands because I ran out of wipes. That's how I've been doing it. I'm just super, super lazy. So um, this is the Pillow Talk set from Charlotte Tilbury. It's just the mini set. So we do have a name pretty much picked out for baby girl, but we're not going to share it until birth because you never know. Things can change. You just never know. What if you look at the baby and you're like, it's not a whatever the name is you picked. You just never know. So we are waiting, but we are calling the baby the name we picked. So I'm almost 99% positive that that's what it's gonna be. Okay, this is pretty much done. I'm gonna do my hair now. Probably gonna fast forward through some of this because I've been talking a lot. I know you guys like the talk through videos, but they take time. I have my extensions back in. I had to take them out during quarantine and then got them back in after quarantine and then chopped the extensions. And then I just got some new ones. I don't even know, a couple months ago now, um, just before my gender reveal. But my actual hair is so short because we chopped it. I mean, we chopped it pretty good. It was like a lob, a long bob. I air dried my hair a couple days ago and it's just been looking like this. Hopefully you can see. All right, lately I've been using my T3 barrel and the really big one to curl like the initial curls and then I go in with the medium sized one so I think this is a one and a half and this is a 1.25 inch or or a one inch and then the other one I have the really small one is a half inch so maybe this is 1.25 oh my gosh I have no idea I'll put it down below but I love this set get out of breath so much easier now that I'm pregnant too Ooh, let's also talk about keto because some of you may know that I was doing keto prior to being pregnant and I was like keto-ish. I, I did more low carb, low sugar because my body just did, doesn't like sugar and carbs. It gives me really bad migraines. Um, I think it's more the sugar than the actual carbs, like the processed sugars, but still really never fully figured it out. I just kind of started eating low carb and the headaches went away. So when I got pregnant, I tried to do low carb because I heard I did all the research. I heard it's still beneficial, still good or whatever. Then I just started listening. To, I, you know, my doctor's like, just listen to your body. And I started listening to my body and my body wanted all the sweets, not like your traditional sweets, but like fruit sweets. So I was eating a lot of fruit. Clementines were like my go-to. Which is fine. I feel like if anything, it's better to be eating fruits than like processed garbage. And I didn't get headaches from it. So um, it had to like, it has to be the processed sugars that my body is just like, we don't like it. Yeah, I've still kind of been trying to stick to lower carb, but also just living my life being pregnant. You know, if I want some ice cream here and there, I'll eat some ice cream here and there not being strict or anything. I haven't gained like a ton of weight. Uh, I did have cool sculpting though before this and I'm getting my double chin back. But I feel like if I didn't do the cool sculpting, 
I would have it way worse. I think that that definitely helped. I have a video on the cool sculpting too if you guys want to watch it. The before and afters are insane. So I'm hoping I can bounce back easily after baby, but I still have like three, three and a half months to go. We'll see, we'll see. I've been working out more while pregnant than before. Pre-pandemic, I was working out three times a week at a gym, um, Peter Krause Fitness in Middleton. If you guys are familiar with Peter Krause from The Bachelor, or excuse me, Bachelorette, uh, I don't watch those shows, but he is the owner of that gym and we were working out with him and it was great. I was working out a ton. I'm like, this is great because I'm gonna, if I ever get pregnant in the future, like I can still work out because you're supposed to just continue what you were doing pre-pregnancy. Yeah, and then the pandemic hit and I stopped working out pretty much like completely during the pandemic. I didn't gain a ton of weight, but it, yeah, it wasn't good. I was, I lost all my muscle. Since I got pregnant, I've been, I like slowly built back into working out again, just doing like stretches and stuff because of all the issues I had in the beginning. The stretches gave me like the most energy and just like made me feel good. Those endorphins you know and all that good jazz that comes from working out it just got me in a better mindset so working out helped a ton and I've been doing at least like a 15 minute workout every day during the week if I can or I'll like take the dogs on a walk or I'll do both I'm gonna probably fast forward through the rest of me doing my hair because I feel like I've talked a lot and give you a lot of my life <laughs> so far. If I think of anything else, I'll pop back in. One thing I miss about being pregnant is, well, wine. I miss wine. Um, I miss Botox, cause like my wrinkles are coming back. Uh, and sushi. Those are like the three things. I've had sushi, when we were in Nashville I had sushi, but it was cooked, not raw. That's pretty much been it. I haven't had like any weird cravings, like I said, just the sweets, but nothing like crazy like pickles and ice cream or something. I don't know, I can't think of like a crazy craving. Nothing yet. So, I don't know, second trimester has been amazing so far. We do, did have some issues with baby girl's heart, which I also talked about on Instagram. So that was a little stressful, but we've been optimistic. I have that saved on um, Baby C's highlight on Instagram. So I have a Baby C1 and a Baby C2 highlight on Instagram. That's all saved on there if you wanna watch it and check it out. Going back to the hematoma, the thing about that is I wasn't gonna share my story, but I'm so glad I did because so many people have been going through the same thing or have watched my stories and they have felt comfort from that because they think that they're going through the same thing or you know I've, I've just been able to connect with so many people and if I can help one person with my story I know that it's worth it 100% so it has been 100% worth sharing my story we did wait till 16 weeks to announce the pregnancy because I was very scared of a miscarriage so because I thought I thought I miscarried several times um, because of the bleeding I, I bled a lot during first trimester and not just like spotting like full-on lots of blood I won't go into the details but yeah scary scary but I just felt like I needed to share my story and I was gonna do a whole video on here but then just time got away from me exhaustion, all of the above. So I just did it on Instagram. So it'll all be on there. I used a new shampoo and my hair seems a little greasy. If you're still watching this, go comment what videos you want to see from me in the future. It can be anything, home decor, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, baby, home renovations, um, all of that. I know I have our home renovation stuff going on, but anything you want to see, let me know. And if I get enough requests for certain ones, then I'll definitely add it to my list. I'm sweating. Oh, just open the window. It feels so good. Hi.
All right, I'm pretty much done with the change, throw on some jewelry, and then I have a couple videos to film after this. I'm gonna touch up some curls too with the smaller wand, but I at least wanted to show you what the finished of this looks like. So that's gonna be it for the chit chat, get ready with me. Give it a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. Hopefully you're caught up on my life now. I'm sure that there are things that I forgot because pregnancy brain is real, you guys. It's real and happens to me all the time, every single day. I'm sure I was like talking about things and then all of a sudden got sidetracked. So it is what it is. Ask me any questions down in the comments below. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.